Hi, you're on a rock. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. Ago. Actually, never. And also now. Nothing is nowhere. When? Never. I said it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere. You don't need a where. You where. You don't even. That's how every it gets. SpongeBob Patrick. Get this. I want to be something. 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 Thing. I want things to do something. I want to invest something. Something. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quirks. Adolf Hitler! In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different... The Femboy. Stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a water. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too- Great news, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with <laughs> way crazier shit. Space dust. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode. <laughs> so now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess. Which is now... Adolf Hitler! Update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, Adolf those rocks Hitler! had water inside them, and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, Second cooler temperatures. Coming. Weather update... The Jordans are completely fake! The entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's the hey, bro, do, do it's a in the ocean. What? Something is in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal. Adolf Hitler! A microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. Instructions written inside itself telling it how to build it. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Adolf Hitler! You can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Adolf Hitler! Side effect, now there's oxygen. Adolf Hitler! The sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a sponge. Some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian explosion. Wow, that's animals and stuff. Adolf Hitler! It's on the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun. Adolf Hitler! The laser. Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a Adolf Hitler! Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no animals. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants Adolf up there? Hitler! Maybe, said some bugs. And fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have my babies. Learn to use an Adolf egg. Hitler! Doing that? Use a stronger Adolf egg. Adolf Hitler! Have a baby on land in an egg. Adolf Hitler! In the egg. Baby in the egg. Adolf Hitler! In the egg. Works for me. Bye bye, ocean. And now everything's huge. Wanna see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck, now everything's dead. Just kidding, here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart, don't worry about it, it does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. It's mammal time, here come the mammals. Look at those And one of them just learned how to grab stuff. And walk. No, like, walk like that. And grab stuff at the same time. And bang rocks together to make planted rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Speaking at him, yeah. It's water. Person. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Oh, you can walk over here? Cool. Look here now. Let's review. There's people. Adolf Hitler. There. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Adolf Hitler. Yes, I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own food. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. Guess what happens next? More food. Who came to buy the food? 
Now you need people to live. keep track of the same houses for people to live in. And now there's more people to live in things, which makes things better. And there's more farming and more people. There's for more people, and now there's business. Writing. Love. Society. Coming soon to a damn river near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad, producing bronze made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of tin. My dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? At least it's getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the or clop clop. It's made an empire, and then everyone else copied the music. Ah, look, it must be the Greeks or a big Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's the Greeks talking about or they're kind of and they wrote some hymns and, and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Oh, no, he's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. The Syrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian Empire. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's... Ah, oh, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy, who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore it. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. The rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's shot. Welcome to the underground! Oh, are you Time to conquer all of India. Or most of India. But what about this part? That's the Tamil King. Who conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? And they've got spices. I would like to buy the spices. Me, Sydney, and swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. And put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the party. said the Jews. Hi, said the party. said the entire place. Hey, said the Romans. the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who are starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want to say hey, hey, I'm from China. They just made a brand new hey, Or you can get the wrong water. Sick, new trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses. <laughs> Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar? China's home again. Hey, no, again. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try hey, no, again. Oh, yeah, now we got business. They're <laughs> selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire and I was wondering Is loving hey, no, yet? No. Moving the capital way over here to be closer to his sexy femboy. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the golden age of There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandragupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. First. Guess who's in Rome? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by the P Roman Empire. Or actually just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the stars. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population everyone. The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gok Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. A kingdom. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships God. And he the gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world. Well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Two kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for moors. Here's all the wisdom. 
in a house. Hey, the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle? Hey, the Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new hey, Roman the Pope pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The northerners, or just north at the time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. And get called many names, such as Vikings. Here's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually German. Hey, New kingdoms. Christianize all the kingdoms. Better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> Said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? First of all, your Jordans are completely fake. Crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some. Hey, Goodbye, Mayans. Hello. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mrs. Hey, Those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town. <laughs> Guess who's here? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself. <laughs> Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. Hey, they just invented bombs and typing, and the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading hey. India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this chat. It means lake. There's an empire there, right in the middle of it. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain. <laughs> Check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. <laughs> China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art in the 1800s. Kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer, let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep. Roman <laughs> Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's a Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to eat. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey Spain, wanna hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No. Please. Please? Okay. So he sails into the ocean, and discovers more ocean, and then discovers the Indies, and Japan. Let's draw a line. The world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bull. Church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent, said Suleiman wearing an onion hat? What if it was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was big, said Ivan? <laughs> Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was... Welcome to the... This is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some <laughs> India through North America. No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice. <laughs> Not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sugar. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the... <laughs> They did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also broke. Hey, the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence. Yeah, Win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit- No, don't. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves, who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. 
there goes Latin America becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into <laughs> Invent some trains and conquer India and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain. Welcome to the underground. Oh, well, your balls. If you wanna fuck around, give us your balls. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to oh, balls. It worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. Hey, no, into a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. <laughs> Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in the burning ball of fire. It's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. About to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It good, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Maidens. Ethiopia, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Ethiopia. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, s- <laughs> Controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on? <laughs> Let's blame the main on. <laughs> They blame the main on <laughs> Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kicked Panama out of Edward Robinson. Now, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes a ball. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weakened by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War I. Look at those guns. It's gonna be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. In the Revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone, so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully they mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not so Ottoman anymore empire. Except to the brand new for Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at <laughs> Existing. Japan is finally conquered. They raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why- <laughs> Idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round Pacific Showdown United States versus Japan. Finish it. Let's unite all the nations and have some world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them could be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Sight, they both get Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? <laughs> the other China escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War. Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins. Then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs.
Fight! Wait! Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's good, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops. So just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy. <laughs> Banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots with bombs. Want to print a... Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. Let's save the said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent the thing inventor. Said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by thing inventor. That's pretty cool. Let's invent the thing inventor. Said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by thing inventor. That's pretty cool. Let's invent the thing inventor. Said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by thing inventor. Let's invent the thing inventor. Said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? Sticking at your feet,